Aloha from Honokoha Harbor in Kailua Hawaii, the lure making and blue marlin fishing capital of the world. Welcome to our show where we interview sports fishing experts and showcase the largest online collection of rare vintage new and used lures. Okay, we're here with Bomboy Lanis of Bomboy Lures and Bomboy's Toy Sports Fishing. And uh, my name is Sylvie Madison and I'm the owner of Big Game Lures Hawaii and we're going to talk to Bomboy about fishing and skirting lures. So what are your best catches to date? Well, my, my best catch today is the, my biggest is a 1258, which I caught in uh, 2003. It was uh, known as, the, it's known as the biggest in the world in the tournament. Um, it was in the firecracker tournament and we caught it on the uh, medium lock nut. And my second biggest is a 1041, which I caught there on the one one lure. And now it's made famous, it's called the 1041. I've been doing this since I was 10 years old when I was a, uh, Young, my, I used to help my dad, I used to be his blue polisher. And then I was doing a lot of like, uh, taxidermy stuff with him. So I learned everything from my dad. And how long have you been fishing? I've been fishing for like 40, uh, 42 years, 43 years. Co Kona waters? Kona waters, yeah. I travel all over the world too. So. But if, when you were a kid, you learned here? Oh, in Hawaii. And why do you use vinyl? I use vinyl because um, when I was experimenting, I was dragging the lures. I noticed that the vinyl makes a lot of noise in the water, like a bonito. When you hold a bonito light bait, you hear that little vibration. So this the vinyl makes a lot of vibration in the water, which is the one that likes that, compared to the rubber skirts. I recommend using vinyl skirts on the big lures than, than the vinyl. But for the small ones, nine inch and five inch, I'll go with the uh, rubber skirts. Well, back in the late 50s, Hawaii was the original on making catch and lures, uh, the captain of uh, Henry Chi. They were putting resin, you know, I heard it was an olive jar, a little uh, glass jar, olive jar. There was an experiment in putting, putting resin in with the abalone shell. And they cracked the glass and they shape it on the late machine or drill. And then uh, they drug it and they caught a lot of fish on them. That's how the lures started in Hawaii. And how did the vinyl start? Uh, back then, they didn't have any rubber skirts like this today, so they used car seat for the upholstery. So they cut up like a triangle piece. It wasn't like this, it was a triangle piece, and then they put it on the lure. And they used a red rubber. Uh, I forget what kind of red rubber it was, but it was a red rubber cut in two strips, and the vinyl was to be outside. It worked really well. So now Bombo is going to show us how to skirt some lures and vinyl. Okay, we have a sheet of uh, vinyl here. Normally they cut it in, in a foot, 12 inches, but this is a little bit a little wider. So I made, I measured 12 inches from here to here, and the diameter is five and a half. So we're gonna cut it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, once I get the, uh, the length of the uh, vinyl and the diameter, what I did is cut it in strips with a razor blade. It'll come like this. I prefer a quarter inch. The ladies make it quarter inch thick. You don't want it too thick. You make it too thick. Um, when, I get, when I get done spreading lures, I'll give you a reason why you don't make it too thick. Anyway, we're going to tie it up right now. Oh, 
always put your seam on top of the lure. The lure always runs like this. It doesn't run like this. It always run the, runs like this on the top. So what you want to do, put your seam or you connect on top of the lure. Then you want to trim the excess off the uh, skirt at the ends. There you go. Now for the inside, we're going to use uh, blue, purple, and green. Kind of matches the lure. So. You just want to make it an inch wide on both. You don't want to make it too thick inside. The reason I say that because when the mine, when the fish bites the lure, if the skirt's too thick, it's going to miss the hook. Because you get a skirt is too thick, see? So, so let's see, let's tie it up. I'm going to put the yellow, yellow below, below. Overlap this tab. Make it nice and tight. So on top of it and yeah, the top purple. So we're gonna put the purple on top. Same, same thing. Times. Overlap it. Yeah, you're gonna make the loop again. Just like this right here. We're gonna cut the excess of the ends right off. And I'm gonna fold it back. There you go. Now you see the seam? It's above the head. What you wanna do, do a little scuff mark on top. So the glue can grab it, add a little crazy glue on it, seal it. Nice. nice and smooth. <clears throat> the reason why I told you earlier that don't make your skirts too thick because when the mountain hits the lure, you see the lure, the skirts fly right away. You make it too thick, it will just stay there and you hold the fish bill or the mouth away from the hook. You got a better hookup ratio. On the length of the skirts to the hooks, I like them this much sticking out. 
If you get too far out, it'll tangle on the skirts. So I like them just right there. It's perfect. Beautiful. Great. Huh? Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for our next show coming soon. Remember to visit our website and shop the largest collection of rare vintage new and used lures at www.biggamelureshawaii.com. See the link below. Mahalo.